Hey guys, it's the boss 235 here and I'm bringing you another Minecraft video. And in this video we're going to be, well I'm going to be teaching you how to use the tripwire hook. So let's start off by how to make it. You can take one iron ignit, one stick, and one wooden planks, doesn't matter which type, just at the bottom like that and that's how you make it. It will give you two tripwire hooks. Alright, so now how to use them. But first, we need to make it light, because I like light. Okay. Take your tripwire hooks. You have to, you can't put it like on top of a block, such as that, or that. It just doesn't work. You have to put it on the side of a block, as you can see there. So you're going to put it here and here. And you cannot put it like here. Let me show you. If you take block here, you cannot put them to where they're right next to each other because you have to actually take some string and we'll move the block back. See, that's as close as you can get so there's one block between them. And on that block, you're going to take some string and you're going to place it right there. That will connect them. And, um,. If you're wondering what the tripwire does, like, oh, just make you fall over, face plant, no. That would be awesome, though. So, it's going to create, here, as you can see, I'll walk over it. It creates, like, a redstone sort of charge. And so you can connect that up to some TNT or pistons or whatever cool things you want to do with it. But you can't, there's other things that you can do just besides putting it on the ground like that. You can also put it, like, up here to where it's like face level and if you're wondering how I got it up there I just placed one on the ground clicked on top of it so then I placed one on top of that as you can see right there and then you just destroy the bottom one so now if you look at the redstone over there it does work so that's pretty cool but um yeah the next one that I'm going to show you is to show you that it can actually be really far away. Now, I wired this all up with string. That's what it looks like. And if you look over at the redstone, it works. So, yeah. That's basically how it works, except it's kind of better if you conceal them so that no one can see them, because someone might see the tripwire hook and say, <gasps> Trap! I'm not going in there. But, yeah. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a little thing that I made really quickly to kind of demonstrate how you can make a trap. So I made a little sort of hall here. And basically what I've done is I wanted to show you all the TNT. I'll cover it up, but there's tripwire hook here and here. And now I'll show you where it comes from. So let's destroy these blocks here. And these two are the little hidey holes where the trip bar hooks come from. So I just put some redstone wiring behind them. You can see there. And I connected them. So you can like walk over either one and it'll both pop up these pistons so that you can't escape. And that just follows the redstone here. That one connects this redstone connects to the right piston and then this one connects to the left piston and then I've wired redstone all the way back here I haven't finished it yet just in case slime gets in there and then it'll blow up all TNT killing your friend to troll them completely so I'll be back covering it all up and showing you how it works and hopefully it does work wait gold ore gold ore gold ore gold ore Huh? What? Oh,